All right, real quick today, I'm gonna show you how to make an induction scalpel sterilizer. The first thing you're gonna need is an induction heating board. You can buy them from Amazon. Um, I've seen them on walmart.com, not directly from Walmart, from other sellers. Big issue is you wanna make sure that it comes with this coil. Some of them do not, so make sure that it comes with this coil because that's gonna be really important. All right, second thing you're gonna make sure that you're gonna need is a power supply. Um, you want it to be 5 amp, 12 volt, 60 watts. Um, be careful when buying these because sometimes the companies will lie about the specs. They'll use inferior products and um, so they won't work. So I will provide some links in the comment um, to this specific, specific power supply because I know it works. I've used it, I know it works. Um, so if you're gonna try to find other different options, and I recommend ordering from some place like Amazon that has a really good return policy because you might get it and find that it, even though that it says it's 12 volts, five amps, that it's not gonna actually work with the system. Um, you'll need some power supply adapters. Um, this is the female piece. You wanna make sure that it's five millimeters by 2.1 millimeters. Again, I'll have a link in the comments for you to follow to get this exact one um, this does not come in just one it actually has the male and female pigtails and it comes in like a five pack I looked around and I could not find a least less expensive way to purchase these even sellers that were selling just like one of these were more expensive than $5.99 and I'm sure it has to do with like the wire gauge and then there's probably reasons for that but the cheapest option I could find to acquire one of these was to buy the five pack of male and female adapters. So there's that. And let's see, last and not least, this is not necessary, but I highly recommend it, and that is a foot pedal. So what the foot pedal is gonna allow you to do is you're gonna be able to plug this unit into the foot pedal, and then the foot pedal plugs into the wall. And that way, every time you put your but on the foot pedal, it'll put power to the unit. And then when you take your foot off the foot pedal, the power goes away. Now, why is this important? Well, it's because there's not really an on and off switch for our induction heater. And if you continuously run power through it, eventually it's gonna heat up. And I don't know, and, and I'll remind you, it's not the coils that are gonna get hot, it's actually the little unit that this will heat up. It's gonna have electricity coursing through it, so it will get hot. Um, so in order to increase the life expectancy of the heater board and to reduce the risk of like it getting really hot and you touching it and burning, like I highly recommend having the foot pedal in that way. You know, it's, it'll just be on for the few seconds that you're going to be sterilizing your scalpel. All right. So um, I do want to give a shout out to the person that inspired my video. Uh, give me a minute, I'm looking it up right now, and that was Mushroomaholic. So when I started first looking for an induction sterilizer, um, I wanted to see if I could make one, and so I did find his video. Um, I decided to make another video because um, I was kind of kind of confused after watching his video. Like, it really kind of showed you what you could buy, but it didn't go real in-depth in the step-by-steps and like how to connect everything. So I decided that I would expand on his video and um, see if I can't make it a little less daunting for people that aren't used to working with like electrical components and things. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna start with our heater board and our coil. So right now, if I were to attach their heater board and coil, and just so you know, it's gonna be attached on the section on this heating board unit that has the three connectors. Um, I don't I don't think you're gonna be able to see this, but on the bottom of this unit, it says out. So any you'll connect to the outside of your heating board. Um, again, I don't know if all boards are gonna have it. I know, know that there are several units online that look exactly like this. And as far as I know, they all say out and they all have the three units here, but there were some larger and some different models. Um, I, can, I, I can't say what kind of um, connectors and things that they're going to have. So um, so if this coil 
goes into it's going to end up going in here right so but if i attach it just like it is that's not bad but if you can see it's actually sitting on the the, the table the counter the countertop in so i don't really want that um, so I'm going to bend my coil unit a little bit more just to make it so that slides into these holes easier because right now it's really goes in at an angle if I put them in and so that it will also um, sit up off the countertop. So um, these are pretty flimsy. I don't think that you're going to need a pair of pliers. You are more than welcome to use a pair of pliers in order to get like more consistent bends, but I'm just going to bend it with my hand. That's just me. So I'm kind of just putting a sweeping bend here just so that when I do reattach it, it's going to sit up off the counter. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bend these in a little bit uh, just to make it easier to get into the slots. And then... I'm going to try to get these kind of parallel. So closer together and parallel. So they just kind of slide right in. I'm getting closer to what I'm looking for. Much closer. Okay. And some of these like tighter bends, they very well are going to be much easier to do with a pair of pliers. So. All right, so I'm pretty close to what I'm looking for. So again, I'm gonna make sure that the two outer screws are loosened and so I can slip my coil in here. Let's see. One of them's kind of giving me a hassle. That shouldn't be. I didn't need why. I have the screw all the way out. Okay, that one's in. And that one's in. Okay. So if you see, now it's sitting up off the table the way I bent it. So I'm just going to tighten these back up. It doesn't have to be super duper tight, just enough to hold that in place. You see it's not going anywhere. Okay. So yeah, here's kind of a side view of what that's going to look like. Ta-da. So now I've got the coil on. Okay. So now... I want to add power. So I'm going to grab the female pigtail. Um, I ended up separating these just a little bit just to make it easier. I'm going to take my little regular screwdriver and I'm going to loosen up these screws here so that these will easily slip in there. So just keep in mind, red is positive, black is negative, and if you look on the unit really close, so we've got a positive and the side's negative. So I'm just going to take my positive, slip it in here, and my negative, and I'm going to slip it in there, and I'm going to tighten those down. But um, all right. So now we have really our unit all set up. Next up is really just plug and play. I'm going to open my power supply. Here is my power supply. Blah, blah. Uh, open up my foot pedal. Ta da, foot pedal. It's literally just a pedal. And then it's got where the pedal plugs into the wall. And then where you plug your power supply into. Okay. So, so it's easier to see, I'm going to grab an extension cord and I'm going to plug everything into an extension cord so I can keep it up on my camera. Alright, alright, I'm so I'm going to in the camera. Power supply. Alright, so first I'm going to plug in my foot pedal into the power supply. Cha-ching, bada bing. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my power supply here, and I'm going to plug it into the foot pedal. Okay, easy peasy. Now I'm going to kind of get that out of the way, and then we've got our 
foot pedal here. I'm going to use it kind of as a hand pedal just to make it easier to show you guys how this works. Let's try to get it centered on my camera. There we go. Right now we don't have anything, any power connected here. I do have a light on my power supply um, that will come on when I push the foot pedal down. And then it will go off after I stop pushing the foot pedal. Okay, well, in a minute, I guess it really holds a lot of power in there. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to take the female part or male part of my power supply and we're going to plug it into my induction sterilizer. Just like that. Now, right now, this unit isn't getting any power. And that's because I'm not pushing down on my foot pedal or hand pedal right now. Good video I do. Okay. So look. Boom. I'm going to get the power. Aha. Oh, look at We got a blue light that comes on. That lets me know. There is power going to this unit. Off, on, off, on. Yeah, so let's just see how it works. So right now, I'm gonna get my sparkle. So let's see if I'm doing some transfers. Um, I need to sterilize. Look at, if I do it right now, nothing. Nothing's gonna happen if I put it in there. Nothing's going on because I don't have any power. So now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put power on my power supply. I've got light here, so that's gonna tell me that when I put my scalpel in here, it's gonna get hot. Here we go. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it is. We are getting heat. It's just really hard to tell because of the lights. Let me turn off the lights. Let's try it again. There we go. I am going to play further you get in the faster you're gonna get and the more so I just kind of am trying to put it out so that it doesn't so you can see it um, if you accidentally touch the metal it's not gonna hurt you uh, if you put this in too far it'll stop getting hot you're gonna break that magnetic field there Ooh. I'll tell you what you get that all in there I don't know if you can see that on the camera but it gets hot fast so yeah, that's how you make an induction sterilizer for easily sterilizing your blades at home. And it's crazy, no heat, this isn't hot. Normally my handle gets pretty hot down here. It's a little bit warm here. Oh, it's hot way up here, but I mean, I usually get some warmth down here and it's not, it really focuses that heat on the blade itself, so all right. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. I can edit this video to make things make more sense. If there's something you don't understand, please let me know. And uh, yeah, mush on. Have a good day. Ciao.